Heyo everybody, Haku here, and if you've been watching the channel, if you've been around here for the past however many months, I've been reading through the Chainsaw Man manga from the very beginning on the channel, and we just got to the point where I finished what was adapted into the anime, so after the last video I did, I completely went through and watched the entire anime, and while I was doing it, one of you, I believe it was Pate Ardealo, said, okay, you've got to rank the endings from worst to best once you, um, you know, get done with the anime. So, here we are. I'm gonna rank the endings worst to best. I thought about different ways to do this video, uh, but in the end, because of the way that, you know, my channel, my normal content is structured, I figured the best way to do it is just as a discussion. Uh, putting the actual videos on screen would, you know, open me up to some copyright issues, and it's really not worth the risk. So if you want to, you can view this as a little bit of a mini podcast. It's just going to be me going through ranking and discussing these endings. And let me say, it was like just a waterfall of S-tier endings. These were all so, so good. The songs were all very good songs by popular artists. And for so many of the endings, the direction and the visuals <laughs> were like, they had so much detail put in. It was Confusing almost. Why so much effort? Why just so much talent, so much care and attention put into these? And you can say that about the Chainsaw Man anime as a whole. It was an incredible adaptation. Uh, but there's so much depth to so many of the endings, so many references to other anime, to uh, religious or demonic symbolism. Uh, the songs, a lot of the lyrics had really deep references. It was just, in general, a really awesome experience. So, I'm going to rank these. The way I kind of came up with my ranking was I ranked the songs, I ranked the visuals, then I averaged them out to kind of get an idea, like a basic structure for me to go off of, and then I organized them from there. And what I came to realize was, as good as some of the songs are, I think the direction is the most important part, and that has a lot to do with the visuals. Uh, so, all that being said, it, it, it pains me to get to the last place one, because the last place one is the one that I ranked number one in terms of songs, and that's ending one, Chainsaw Blood by Vondi. I think it is the best song, the song I've listened to most, probably, out of the 12 of these. I love the song. I think it's incredible. I think it's so fitting for Chainsaw Man. And yet, I put it in last place because there are no visuals. I know that on YouTube they did like a special version where they had just clips from the episode, but I don't really count that because that's not what we got when we watched the actual first episode. Uh, so yeah, it pains me. It hurts me a lot because it is my favorite song of these 12. If only it had visuals, it would probably easily, even if the visuals weren't the best, it would probably easily go up towards the top because of how good the song is. But I just felt like it would be unfair of me to put it above any of the other ones that did have visuals. Uh, which brings me to 11th place, which is ending 11, Violence by Queen B. And, you know, look at me, I am the average, an I'm him, I'm the average anime fan, poorly rating and shitting on the 3D CG stuff. Uh, that's not necessarily why it's down this low, but it is, I guess it also does play a part in it, because when I look at the visuals for this one, a lot of the movements feel weightless. A lot of the the character models, especially the faces, just feel like the designs feel a little bit off. Uh, some of the movements look kind of janky, so I, I really wasn't that into the visuals, and I guess it being 3, 3D CG is a part of that. Um, I feel bad being that way, but yeah, the visuals just were kind of the least good. Also, when it comes to what's involved with the visuals, it was very basic. Um, like I mentioned, a lot of the other... Um, a lot of the other endings have these really deep references and symbolism, and this didn't really have that. Um, it was just fairly basic. And it kind of hurts me. The song, too, the song is pretty good, but it's just pretty good. The ending itself is just pretty good. When I compare that to, like, again, like I said, the cascade of S-tier endings that we got from Chainsaw Man, even though I consider this a good anime ending, even a good anime ending isn't stacking up to the rest of what we got here. Um, so moving beyond number 11, uh, what I had in 10th was actually ending to Zanki by Zutomayo, which is actually another solidly fun ending. That's actually another really good 
ending, I think. It's just not up to the level of the others. Um, I think it works as a perfectly normal, ordinary anime ending, but I think much like Eleven, though again, I liked the visual style more too, and I liked the song a bit more too, I just think that a normal B or even A tier anime ending just doesn't stack up to some of the higher ranked ones for me. Um, in ninth, I put ending six, which was Dai no Teki na Rendezvous uh, by Kana or Kanaria? Kanaria? I, <laughs> I actually have never said their name out loud, I don't think. Um, but while watching through this one and like trying to like watch through the endings and make my ranking, I remember getting to this one, and I think I may have even said something about it while I was watching, where I was like, if this was Chainsaw Man's only ending, if there were no more endings, this was the only one for the entire season, this probably would have been a top 10 ending for the year as a whole. But I was like, I don't know. It did end up making top 10. It's a ninth. But I was like, I don't even know if I'm putting it in top 10 for Chainsaw Man, uh, since there are different endings for each episode. Um, I love the manga-inspired art style in it. Uh, I like a few of the things they do with the direction, the visuals. I think it's really nice. I think the song is good. Um, so yeah, it's just a, it's a really good ending. Like I said, it would have been top 10 for the year overall, probably, for me. Uh, but it just shows how high the ceiling is for Chainsaw Man's endings. Um, in 8th place, I had Ending 10, which is Dogland by People One. This is actually one of my favorite songs. Where did I? I ranked the song third. So it was my third favorite song, but the visuals kind of dragged it down. I thought they were going to drag it down even more. I thought I was going to put this even lower. I don't really like the... Um, the live action stuff with the negative filter over it. I think it looks kind of like grimy and gross and I guess Chainsaw Man has that kind of aesthetic but I wasn't really a big fan of that stuff. Um, upon rewatch I don't dislike it as much as I originally did but I think what made me not be as harsh on the visuals is the scenes with especially towards the end with Denji running through the alley look very good um, and the very ending with like power and um with Power and Aki and stuff. I think all of that looks really good. So I was less harsh on it than I thought I would be. Again, the song's one of my favorites, but the visuals, some of it I really dislike, some of it I really like. Uh, but yeah, that doesn't take away from the song. I have listened to the song a lot, actually. I really like it. Uh, seven, I don't know if this is going to be an unpopular opinion or not, but in seventh place I put Ending Nine, which was Deep Down by Imer. Um, the song, is very good and the visuals the visuals and direction are good too there's a reference to basically every character in the anime it looks nice with the black and red and white color scheme but i just couldn't justify putting it in the top half when though the direction's good though the song's good it's not really the, the type of song that i would listen to a ton on my own um and i haven't really compared to some of the other songs um and at the same time the visuals in the other endings are great too, and a lot of them have more variety, more color, and though I loved the way this ending looked, I just like some of the others even more. Uh, next is a surprising one for me, actually. In sixth place, I put uh, Josai by Toboy. Um, now, this is the one that was uh, ending four. This was, yeah, ending four, right? The power-themed one. I actually didn't think I would rate this one as high at first. I kind of underrated it at first. I was like, oh, it's just a fun, power-focused ending. Uh, but then going back and rereading, or not rereading, but rewatching rather, um, I feel like the song perfectly fits the visuals, even though on its own it probably wouldn't be one of my favorite songs. And the visuals are just incredibly fun. There's some like really funny gags, like the quick zoom into Meowie. Um, there's so much personality, uh, so many references, but not in like a serious way so much as a very fun way. And I just think, I don't know, making an ending with this much effort put in and this much talent put into like the motion and how like technically sound the art of the visuals is um putting that much effort in and making it something fun is something that i really appreciate uh whenever i do rankings for stuff some people are always like why did you rank insert things here insert thing here so highly 
but fun is a big part of things for me. If I think something is fun, if I think something is just enjoyable, that's like a big plus for me. I think that adds a lot uh, when it's just something that I enjoy watching or I enjoy reading. Um, so yeah, I actually rated that higher than I thought I would at first. Um, I almost thought about putting it in fifth, but I ended up going top five here. Fifth place, I put Ending 12, Fight Song by Eve, the final ending. I love the direction of it. The direction actually reminds me a lot of Ending 8. Uh, they feel like they just have similar direction styles. I don't know if maybe say, the same people worked on the staff for it. Because um, I know a lot of these endings were probably outsourced or maybe had their own individual people or small groups working on them. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I thought that uh, the direction was very, very good. It feels similar to ending eight. Uh, I think the song's very great, and I like how it blends into the ending of the season itself, to the actual anime itself. Uh, all of it was just really nice. Uh, fourth place, I put ending seven, Chu Tayos, or Tayose by Ano. It is my second favorite song. I didn't even know. I was listening to this song on my own a lot, and I didn't even know it was from Chainsaw Man until recently before I watched uh, the anime. Um, so yeah, I love the song. Absolutely love it. I think the visuals are really, really nice, especially towards the end. I think the stuff at the beginning with like the, you know, old school RPG stuff is really nice. The shots of the four female characters. I'm a sucker for, oh, waifu stuff. Yeah. So like, I... I liked that. I thought it was nice. But at the end, where they had just this really smooth and detailed old school animation style for like Makima and then uh, Himeno, and then we saw the like redraw, redesign of the scene of everybody eating, but in that sort of like old school style, it was just really good looking and really well done technically. Uh, the song itself, also like the lyrics, have a lot of wordplay and jokes, like of course like um, Get On To is Get Ocho, which is a puke kiss, and there's like even more in there that I think is really cool, it's funny, it's a big meme joke of an ending. I think it's really good. Um, so third place is one that I really underrated when I first watched it, and uh, that's Ending 8, First Death by TK from Ling Toshite Shigure. Uh, I really slept on it at first. I don't know why, but going back and rewatching it, I'm like, wow, the visuals are really good. The direction is so much better than I first gave it credit for. Um, I love the one shot. I mean, I love so many shots in this, but I was going to say the shot of, what was her name? Sabatari? Uh, and the samurai guy up on top of the crumbled like building. That was really a good shot. But then there's also the one of... Himeno in the Forest of Hands. There are a lot of really good shots. And from the beginning of the ending to the end of the ending, with him and Himeno in the graveyard to him leaving the graveyard, um, Aki that is, I think that the direction is incredibly good. Like I said, I just, I slept on it at first, but then I came around on it. Um, second place is, wow, ending three, Hawatari Niok Senchi by Maximum the Hormone. I love this song. This song is other than Chainsaw Blood, probably the second most perfectly fitting for Chainsaw Man. They even used it in some of the episodes as an insert song. It is so good. It's had me listening to Maximum the Hormone pretty much nonstop since finishing the anime. Like whenever I'm working out, whenever I'm working, <laughs> whenever I'm just browsing the internet, I, I am listening to Maximum the Hormone these past couple of weeks. Uh, I have just been addicted to their music after this. It's such a good song. I really wish there was a full version of it. And the visuals are not only fitting, they're colorful, the designs are good, they're absolutely gorgeous. There's so many great references in them. Like, everything about this ending is basically perfect. It's a solid, like, S-plus tier. Uh, but it doesn't even come in first, because first, absolutely nutty, uh, ending five, In the Back Room by Shudo. The song is very good. It's not my favorite song of them, but it is very good. But what drives it into the top place is these might be the best endings I've seen for an anime ending potentially ever. The visuals are absolutely insane. The references to the characters and story, but also to, you know, like the greater horror concepts of the Eternity Devil and greater horror concepts of devils themselves. There's so many religious and like um, sort of classical art and demonic like symbology <laughs> uh, thrown in here. Uh, it's so, so cool. 
it's so insanely detailed and in-depth. There are even flashes of things that you only get to see for brief seconds and changes that you only see for moments that are incredibly well created. It's just insane how good the art is. So many still shots from this ending are like museum quality levels of art. They look so good and tell such a crazy story. The direction also with how so many things sync up throughout the ending is just incredible. It is a transcendental marriage of the music with the animation. I just am blown away by every single thing about it. It's insane to me. Um, and also, I've got to say, if the Gun Devil actually had the design, so again, you all may have seen it, like I said, after I, I have been reading through the manga, I will be continuing if you want to stick around on the channel after watching this. Um, so you might have seen the Gun Devil already, but if it looks like the horse from this ending, I think that'd be an incredible design with like the gun bits, with the hands wrapping around it, the little ammo hanging off. It would make sense with it running around the world super fast and parts of its body breaking off. Just this mass of gore and hands and guns and bullets is such a scary but awesome visual design that if the Gun Devil looked like that, I think that'd be sick. I think that'd be really cool looking, um, especially if it wasn't humanoid but looked like that instead, I think would make it even cooler. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. I guess, I guess that's all I've got. I hope you enjoyed this ranking. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will end things here. Like I said, uh, hopefully you'll stick around, like if you did like the video, um, and subscribe if you want to. If you want to stick around, it'd be appreciated. Like I said, if you want to go back, I've read Chainsaw Man from the beginning here on the channel, and I'm going to be doing some more videos as part of a larger project where I'll be talking about the Chainsaw Man anime a little bit more. In addition to that, there's plenty more manga videos to come when it comes to Chainsaw Man. Uh, I even recorded the next read-through already, and I'll be posting it a little bit after this video. Uh, in addition to that, I guess if you want to, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of these endings, what you thought of my rankings. What are your rankings? How would how would you judge these endings? I'm interested to see what other people's opinions are. I'd love to talk to you. Uh, so we can talk down in the comments. If you want to talk on Twitter, it's fine. If you want to uh, join our Discord server, it is free and open for anyone. All you got to do is ask and I'll give you a link. Um, yeah, that's free, open for anyone. We can all talk there. We always talk about there about Anna and anime and manga and webtoons and everything else. Tons more on the channel if you're interested in that. Uh, just here on YouTube. Again, check out if you're new. Um, but yeah, either way, if you want to help support me and to uh, support the channel, continue to make video or help me to continue to make videos, then all you got to do is hit join down below. You could drop a super thanks if you want, but if you want one piece a bit early, I do give patrons and members one piece a bit early. Uh, in addition to that, they get a shout out at the end of every single video. So if you want to hit join down below, become a channel member, go to patreon.com slash of the tubes or a link will be in the description, become a patron and uh, you will, like I said, get one piece a bit early, uh, early and a shout out at the end of every video. Either way, thank you to people who are patrons and members. Thank you to Chosen Regular Evan Holly. Thank you to Magical Girls, FR Nono, and Smeller Dog. Thank you to Cherryton Student, David Langstaff. Thank you to Slayer Candidate, SG. And thank you to Pure Element, Pate Ardealo. Thank you all so, so much for your support. And thank you all so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it. I enjoyed reading so far and watching Chainsaw Man a lot. I think it was my favorite anime of all of 2022. Um, pretty solidly even. I just think the adaptation was incredibly good. Uh, but yeah, either way, that's it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time.